All right, good morning. Just wanted to share once again uh, another thought with you here. And this thought actually came from a conversation this morning that I just had with a friend, Oliver, uh, who just so happens to work in the cannabis industry as well, but in the United States. Um, and we started talking about bad actors. We started talking about those who are in the industry who operate a certain way and it doesn't seem like they care about morals, their ethics or their values. Uh, and when you start noticing companies or people do those type of things, you know, the, the conversation then led to, well, how do you deal with those type of individuals or those type of companies? Uh, for me personally, from, from what I shared with Oliver, and I'll tie it into the game of life, you know, I'll tie it into the concept of universe, God, if you want to call it that, uh, is that God tests you. The game, the worlds, the universe tests you by putting bad actors in front of you, by putting people in front of you who do the wrong things. What are the wrong things? Well, that's for us as individuals to determine and for us to observe and analyze on whether or not what companies and what other people and other players are doing is the right or the wrong thing. Right or wrong is completely up to us. However, when we do notice what's wrong, what do we do? There are many options that we can take, right? We can either point the finger and say, those guys are unethical, those guys have no morals, those guys are operating in a wrong way that doesn't benefit the customers, the patients, whatever you want to call it. That's option one. You can point the finger and say negative things about them. Uh, option two would be, okay, you're aware that they exist and they're there and they will always be there and you can ignore them. The third option is a combination of number two and number one, which is you're aware that there are bad actors in the industry. You're aware that there are people out there who are doing things that are unethical and that are wrong. Uh, you point it out. Now, the third option is what are you going to do about it? Because those people, the companies, the individuals who are operating unethically or they're, they're driven by profit, greed, and it's something that you personally don't agree or align with, those people are going to be there regardless, and they're always going to be there. But now that you're aware, what are you going to do about it? Are you just going to sit there? Are you going to ignore it? Are you just going to sit there? Are you going to point the finger and do nothing about it and just be the one to speak and not act upon it? Or are you going to do something about it? Now that you see what's wrong, now that you're aware with what's wrong, how is that going to change how you act? How is that going to change how you approach your life, your business, and how you play the game? Uh, so that's really what I was able to share and have a conversation with Oliver about. Because in this game, in, in life, God is going to test you by putting these type of characters, these type of players in front of you to see what you're going to do. You see them operating unethically. You see them operating with no morals or values. You see them uh, operating based on profit and greed. Are you going to follow the same path? Or are you going to overcome the test and continue to go down the path that you know is right for you, that's in alignment with who you are, your company, your team, and keep moving forward from there? So I, I do like to believe that evil and good, evil and 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 you know, or bad and and good, uh, yeah, evil and good, right or wrong, those things will always exist, and they exist for a reason. They exist for you. They exist for us as human beings, as individuals, as players playing the character. They exist for us to learn from to become aware of so that we can then go out and make better decisions for ourselves. And that's how I see it. When I build our business now, there are always going to be bad actors. There are always going to be companies who 
operate a certain way that doesn't just doesn't align with you and that's okay because they will always exist but now that you are aware of them now that you are aware of the other side of what can be for yourself you've really just got to answer the question what are you going to do about it are you going to go down the same path as what they're doing are you going to ignore it completely and not do anything or are you going to become aware of both and take the third option and do something different about it and do something that will actually create the change so that the things that you see that are wrong don't happen in the future. That's how I've been approaching life. That's how I've been approaching business, you know? It's just like everyday life. When you come across someone that just rubs you the wrong way or energetically you know that they are not a match for you, um, it's the energy that you choose not to be around. When you become aware of those things, you end up having a choice. You know, if you choose to stay around that energy and it impacts you negatively, that's your fault. You know, if you choose to point the finger and call them out on their bullshit and keep doing it over and over and over again while you're around them, how does that help you? Right? All you're doing is just talking. You're talking and you're you're expanding on that negative energy. Or you can do a bit of both. You can point them out call them out on their bullshit, and then walk away. Take a different, take a different route. Uh, act differently. Act in a certain way that aligns with you and move on from there. All of these things exist for a reason. They exist for us. They exist for our consciousness, our awareness to become aware of them so that we can uh, do things that are in alignment with who we are. And it's going to be there this, this internal conflict of right or wrong is going to be there until the day that we die. And we just have to learn how to navigate through it. How to realize that there is no darkness without light. There is no light without darkness. And you have to learn how to merge both together in your own being, in your own essence. And progress through life in the game that way. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's transformative thoughts and that's what I wanted to share. Thank you for listening and I will catch you in the next one.